Hello everybody, good buddy Q here, here with more Escape from Siberia. Last left off, we were in camp. Rigor. Or as Japan says it, Rigor. <laughs> um, I can definitely see why you guys kept recommending me this over and over. This is fantastic. Japanese game. I'm just exploring at this point. Finding anything good. Questioning room, weapons for old boy. There's nothing but garbage down there. I'm gonna look anyway. I'm gonna run. There's nothing what to do. They can go to sleep. Then it'll just become tomorrow. They can eat food and repeat every single day. There's nothing more you guys should do, right? You. Whore. You. Ah, uh, they didn't come off anytime soon. Ah! Shouldn't be snooping around too much. You might find something you'd regret seeing. Like that? Ah, they use all this to, to torture. can't leave here. Okay. This must be the mess hall. You know what I thought so. Big plate of nothing. Meal given to us once a day. That's my only... I can't even walk in at all. This is some really good fucking good potential. Hi! Today's meal is hazelnut soup and canned corn. Tomorrow is the same menu, the day after that, the day after that, you know. Don't serve us a variety of food and later. That's horrible. You're hungry? No. You may not eat. You know the rule. You only serve one meal a day. Only in the morning. Rude. Can I read things? Food to Siberia. There are different meals shown on every page. On the last page someone wrote letters, another food shown in this book are provided in the dorms. Oh. Rude. Hey. Message from Epona Citizen. Summer Comic Con coming up. Get your tickets now. Oh my god! Japan. That must be his territory now. Comic Con. Awesome diary. Oh my god, Gilbert. I want to read it. Great news. Today, Mr. Briginski went to the farmland and spoke with the farmers. After teasing them a bit, he asked with a smile, how are things growing? The farmers responded with a great smile and half-jokingly said, it's going great, sire. How to draw manga. That's Kiku. So they're the ones who provide all the reading material here. Which I guess makes sense since they're the ones overseeing this place. Yup. Oh, yeah. You fuckers! Alright, let's spark this place up. The flower is so pretty, don't you think? So this is his main office. You want to know why there's weapons on the wall? These are not weapons, they are symbols. Their meanings are... I'll tell you another time. Hammer and sickle? Hammer and axe. Hammer and sword. Can I go in here? Fuck yeah! Oh, these are their bedrooms! All the books here are Mr. Hondick's comics. I heard he has a lot more in his house as well. Can't touch it, or if you rip it, or if you put a fingerprint in it, he will hunt you down. So this is, uh, Japan- Kiku's area. Or, maybe these are just guest rooms. Mr. Bealdishman is the strongest in the mall. He was able to stop Akiro's monster nonsense just a day. That's awesome. From what I heard, he also did a number to Rudolph when they caused a revolution 60 years ago as well. He is Curlingland's pride for sure. Oh, that must be his. So this must be his room. My reflection looks blurry. Aw. Who, who sleeps here? Maybe Ivan. This is Mr. Bergrinsky's room. What are you doing in here? Oh, so it is his room. 
Okay. Aw. Gilbert still plays the piano. He plays the violin. If anyone can guess that, I will hug you. Okay, I think that's everywhere. In here, at least. Next! Oh! Oh, it's the ladies' dorms! There's no heater in here, so it's freezing. I can't wait for the shift change. We don't force people to do anything here. We just give them limited food and eat their own and leave them to their own after that. You think it's easy? If you want to do it. a single thing and nothing changes with every passing day, eventually everyone would grow exhausted. After making them mentally unbalanced, we send them to headquarters and take care of the teachings of the Way of Siberia. Then you got one great Siberian completed. Oh, that's how it works here. That's horrible. I'm sorry, my ladies. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll do anything. Just please let me go home. Mommy, mommy, help me. Why are you? Why is there a little girl in here? Why? Little girls don't belong here. Who am I? Why am I here? Can't remember. I don't want to remember. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Why? I don't want to move. It just makes me a little hungry. She's leaning against the wall and won't move a muscle. Oh. That one's empty. I'm hungry. Please give me something to eat. I don't have anything. I'm sorry. Wait, I have. Wait. I have all this shit. You can't take my shit. This is my shit. It's my only giddy. I haven't referenced that in forever. By the way, people have been asking me over and over and over to do Hitoni stuff. I'm not doing it. Hitoni 2. Blah blah blah. Unless it's something that's like kind of clues me different and upgraded, I'm not doing it. Okay, I think I'm done with my exclamation, so I think I'm gonna go to bed. Wait, I'm gonna save just in case. Okay. Yup. Dolby. What's going to happen to me? What should I do? Oh fuck! We got choices! I want to see loot! Just being yourself, right? It wasn't your intention to send me right here. You forgot everything. That's why you're doing things you'd never wished you to do in the past, right? I'm not the only one suffering. Lud is too. I believe in you, Lud. Just wait for me. I want to make sure to save you. I will get your real self back. Then we can eat pasta together, and you can make some worst. I'll bring some wine, and you can share your beer. I need to take a siesta and think about what I'll do from here. First, I need to get Lovi, and then meet the Patinho, and then I'm going to help everybody else. Yeah, we gave him hope. Ugh. I can only imagine what the other option would make him do. But yeah, apparently those two things have different outcomes, so that's good. First, I need to get out of here. Okay. Let's save right here, then. And we'll go back. Hi. How will I do that? That is the question. Womp. Wimp womp. Now go downstairs. Meow. Hi. What's down here? Nothing. Garbage! Garbage! Meh. Meh. What can I do to get out? Huh? Hits! Is it where they get out? In that case, I'll go grab him instead and- Gilbert? Whoa! Feliciano, it's been a while! It has been, hasn't it? Ah. Yeah. Is that right? Um. Feliciano, you have a visitor. You need to come visit me. Who is it? You'll see. Just come visit me. You can't actually go against my orders. Okay. 
Gilbert joined the party. Sweet son! I got me some Gilbert! Kess, kess, kess. What, what you got? Heal, strong attack, ice spark. Wow! What? He's level 35! That's not too bad. Meh. Oh, Rumpty Doody to you too. Oh, oh, we have to deal with Yvonne. Um, okay, shit. Um, okay. Here we go. Yvonne. Hello, Feliciano. It has been a while. Do you remember me? Yes, I do. I knew it. Kiko told me so. Don't be so nervous. Let's sit down and talk. I'm shaking so much. My stomach hurts. But no, I have to do this. There's a lot I need to ask him. Okay, Feliciano. Let's talk. So you and me can get along better in the future. Get along? That's right. From what I heard, you and some others are trying to become countries again. Why would you even bother? We're all happily living here in, together in Siberia. So I want to know why you want to regain that status. Because they're my friends. Friends? That's right. They're my friends. It's normal to not want to be forgotten by your friends. Feliciano. I don't want to be alone, so that's why. You're right. It's best when we all get along fine. Then we should have no problems how things are now. We all live together in a big home and get along. Besides, I think we can get along better if we didn't have our old memories with us. How so? We get rid of our de de sorry. We get rid of our depressing past and move on to a future together. Isn't that wonderful? We don't need memories that will pain us and separate us with titles and names. We can all just start fresh. In Siberia, we're all the same. There's no differences, so there's no need to fight one another. Siberia is the best place that can be! We are all equal and the same, so we all understand one another perfectly. Luciano, you know this. Remember what happened where all countries? Wars were happening every day. We couldn't get a single thing solved with any things. We couldn't even understand each other. It was a mess. The weak ones would be kicked out of the side and turned to slaves. You could cry and scream all you wanted, but no one helped. Always alone in the blizzard. So do your best to become a con stronger country, and everyone blames you for all the bad things. Then all your friends leave your side as well, saying they never liked you better before. They liked you better before. Now that you've changed and you're frightening. Nobody stays with you. That's the life of a country. Nothing but pain and suffering. Ivan? It's because we're different. Nobody can understand each other, so we hurt each other. This is the best. We all know each other, and nobody gets hurt anymore. With how things are now, we all want our one big happy family living in Siberia. No more bad things will ever happen again. You understand now, right? Isn't this the best world to live in? Ivan, let me tell you, tell me one thing. Hmm? What happened to Lovino? Uh, uh, three channels, that's... I can care less about him. He fooled us for a century, making us think he was a good boy. I don't care about him anymore. A fool? Ivan, Ivan, tell me, what is with that? What do you mean you don't care? Who cares? Let's forget about him. Those who can't get along with us never existed to begin with. That's how things work. No! He's my brother, Ivan! He's my family! Everybody who lives in Siberia is your family. Isn't that enough for you? Ivan, you can't be serious. I only have him! He's my only family! No one can replace him! Ivan, give me my brother back! Let me see him! Why? Huh? Why could you understand? <laughs> Ivan! <laughs> Why would you say that? Why can't you just get along with everybody else? <laughs> Why does everyone always say I'm the bad one? I'm doing this for everyone! Why can't you understand that? <laughs> Siberia has everything! Clothes, food, shelter! What else do you need? Why do you want to leave? Ivan! Cut it off! 
not call me Gilbert! He's mean! He's being mean to me! Calm down! Nothing will change if you hit Fleechana right now! Fleechiano! What? What happened? Why? Why does anyone want to become my family? Why do they leave me? Mr. Vergunski? What happened here, Mr. Bielschmidt? You guys, come here. I need you to hold Ivan down. Ian, take the this prisoner to the questioning room. Immediately! Duh! <laughs> my babies! Oh, my babies! My babies! My babies! Get me out! I can't let you out of here. It's Mr. Beale's first orders. Oh, fine. Fuck. Is the prisoner inside? Yes, sir! I'm going to question him now. I don't want anybody in this room, including you. Guard the door until I say it so otherwise. Like saying that. <laughs> How's it even? Okay. <clears throat> I gave him some alcohol. I drugged it, so he won't be waking up anytime soon. I was honestly amazed when Kiku reported you had your memories. Kiku reported? Yeah. He said, due to your older brother's actions, you're back to being a country. Fichano, hear me out. Go back to being a dorm. Are you serious? Yeah. As long as you live under Siberia's guidelines, you can live a happy life. If you insist on being a country, say I'm going to crush you, just like they did to Rubov. You mean Big Brother Francis? That's right. I met you, met Francis, haven't you? That's exactly what they'll do to you if you don't do obey Eva. You'll be thrown into the middle of nowhere, and not have any guards to help you. Because of that, you'll keep losing your people. Eventually, you'll cease to exist. <gasps> don't go against them. This life is too hard on you. It's better to forget everything, right? I... I don't agree with that. There's nothing good that the good of forgetting everyone. Everything. Whatever. I can't sit back and watch Lord and Kiko disappear. Disappear, huh? You think that equality is going to result in us ceasing to exist? I disagree. Even now, countries still exist. They're just called dorms. You yourself lived the last century and didn't fade. As long as the, cit as the citizens living in the dorms are separate... So there's nothing to worry about. We'll still live. But if we do something stupid like Rubolf and Kiro, then we might risk dissolving. If we need our people in order to exist. So that's why we need to obey him. For the sake of living, we can't push Ivan's buttons. Are you fine with that, Gilbert? Kept from your family? Forgotten by those close to you? Are you really fine with that? People like Lud and Big Brother Antonio? Are you really fine with how they are now? Is that what you want? Boots. No. Boots. It's now... Boots? What? I know that name. Mm. Uh, it's now... Yvonne's father. Doing what Ivan tells him to, and it's what he enjoys. Catching you was his own decision. There's nothing we can do about that. That's a lie! I know Lude! Lude would never do that! He's terrifying when angry, a sadist, and tries to wake people up, as scary DVDs is really muscly, is a sadist. <laughs> but still! He would never say that. I'm not his friend. That's not Lud. Gilbert, please answer my next question. It's very important. If it's something I can tell you. Did Lud really agree to this whole move to Siberia plan? Uh, you told me yourself that Lud, ag Lud agreed came to my door and said it, with Yvonne and Arthur behind you. Did he really agree to this? He thought all of us would moving to Siberia would make us happy? Answer me, Gilbert! He... Uh, agreed. Did... Huh? What did you... Like hell he agreed! This was... He was against it! He fought back! He... Loots! He fought all he could against Ivan and Arthur. He tried to protect our people. Land, Deutschland, our pride. Mein Bruder, until the very end, he was worried about your Feliciano and all his friends. Ivan was getting attacked. Ivan and Arthur beat him down and tossed him away when he tried to fight back. Just like when he followed us for Lutz instead of following us. Yeah, you're right. Lutz never agreed to any of this. 
hurting you moving here. None of it. Gilbert! But Feliciano, listen. We can't go against them. We just can't. With our citizens and land taking from us, there's no way we can go against I Ivan and Arthur to win. And you keep insisting and try to fight regardless. They'll block your memories too. Just like they did with Lutz. I think they mean best. Black memories? Oh, what does that mean? Exactly the way it sounds. Arthur put up a very Lutz's heart to block his memories. In normal cases, by interacting with another country, we are able to regain our lost memories. But we can't do that for Lutz anymore. Oh no! Maybe no. I made Lutz that way. Get a bit? Just when everyone was losing their memories and becoming domes, I couldn't stand being forgotten by him. So I did some research and tested my hypothesis and I came up with him. It worked. Lutz remembered everything and became a country again. With his memories back, he went against Ivan, all by himself, saying he couldn't endanger everyone else without their memories. He was crushed for in seconds. As he erased his memories once more and also put out a barrier. He taught him how to be loyal and now he's like that. Did they? In order to make sure his status was permanent, they made sure he had no contract with any other countries. Without the stimulation of another country, the citizens eventually forget, forget their ex original existence and the country will lose their memories as well. The way they did, they locked him in a dark room with no sunlight or human contact for years and years until he forgot everything. <laughs> Give it up, Feliciano. Nothing good will come against fighting against Ivan. The same thing for, may happen to you as well. Thank you, Gilbert. You're worrying about me, aren't you? But I won't give up. I'm going to help Lud and the others. Feliciano, uh, are you kidding me? Did you hear a single word I said? That's why I'm going to help them. I can't send back and watch them suffer. It's no use. Lutz's memories aren't coming back. Kiko ain't going to give up his position now either. And what if Arthur decides to join in? Are you going to be able to fight them off on your own? I may not be able to do anything, but I have to help Lute and everybody else. I am scared, but nothing good will come of me running away from this. Feliciano. Tell me, Feliciano. Let's say you got to Lute and everyone's memories back. What are you going to do then? What do you mean? Let's say you succeeded. Now what? You're not going to say, and we all lived happily ever after, right? What do you want to do after regaining everyone's memories? I... I want to have a welcome home party, and we can all bring our best cooking and eat together. A party? The leopard food isn't, gre isn't good, but if we all get our memories back, I want to make yummy stuff for with everyone. Vegetables, fruits, meats, and seafood aren't stabilized yet. There's... There ain't a lot we can make. Then let's think together and whatever we can do to get everyone back. I'll do my best if it comes to food. Let's do our best and we can have delicious food. Everybody will be happy. Ivan said everyone is happy here in Siberia, right? But no one I met on my way here seemed happy. One bit happy. Ivan was crying too. And he hit me. Ivan brought it about himself. He's a spoiled brat that throws violent tantrums when things don't go his way. There's no need to feel sad for him. But... Feliciano, get your priorities straight. Who do you want to save? You can't wish for everyone to be happy. Ivan and Arza will think that's a weakness and they'll crush you in no time. I'll get my priorities straight too. I'm going to help you, Fili. I need to get Lutz back. You mean... If you aren't going to give up, neither am I. Thank you, Gilbert! Don't take me. I don't deserve it. Oh, Yay! Yay! Alright, let's head out now. We can't stay here forever. It won't be a good idea to leave from the front, so, so I suppose we have to use the secret pass. Secret? Mm -hmm. There's one in the basement. If we use that path, we won't be able to be got bothered by the, any guards. The entrance to the pass is in the junk dump. Let's go for the channel. I knew it! I fucking knew it! Yeah, oh my god! We got the bay here. New. Oh, right. Oh, we need to go downstairs. Oh, it's... That's not the way. That's not the way either! Damn it. Where is the way? Is it here? Oh, it's down here. Wait. Hmm? I have to go check up with Yvonne. Can we stop by his room first? Sure. 
So you have to go to Ivan's main room and enter the back door from there to, to go to his private room. He should be still asleep, so don't look so worried. I just want to make sure I didn't overdose him. Why? It would be good if he was overdosed. Mm, this is the ladies' area. That's not the way. Oh. That's not the way. Is that blood? Yeah. Evans. Huh? There's something there. <laughs> it's a heart! A heart! Ah. Uh, that must be Ivan's heart. He must have dropped it again. Just leave it there. He said he wanted to get rid of his heart because it was annoying him. So it's a good chance for him to do so. <laughs> Take it! Can't there always something this important? What are you going to do with that? I don't know. Another one. Back room. Oh. I'll go check on Yvonne. You stay here. See? I can kill it. Alright, let's go. That's a good idea. I don't don't go see Ivan right now. Yvonne. Boo! Yvonne, Yvonne. That's not the thing. Whoop. Okay, no guards here. Sweet. Oh boy. Ah, there it is. Oh boy. Potion. Should probably save. Okay. Wait. Yeah. No. A snack. We got snooks. We got little snooks. Snooks. I got oh, some snoops. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wow! I'm glad he's on my team! Mark, I cheek you! Learned? Oh my god, what does it do? What does it do? What does it do? Draw a circle, there's the earth. Does it raise our attack? What does it do? What does it do? <laughs> Yay! Ah! Ah, scorpions! I'ma kill all y'all! That first. Fuck. Yay! Yeah, what does this do? Let's find out! Wow! That's nice! No, my baby! My baby! Hold on. Where the fuck is it? Yep, yeah, there we go. Kill the yay! Find the switch. Oh god damn it! Now, a 
Rats, rats! I know. No, we're not rats, rats. No, no. Oh, no. No rats. Back! Actually, I just realized the time. Holy shit. The next time we're gonna find the goddamn switch. Yeah. Okay, so. Have a good day, everybody! Bye!